Hey, happy Sunday, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about the JU87 G2 in a second, but I have a little announcement uh, for you guys about what's going on on the back end of the channel, what I've been working on for the last couple of months. But what's been happening is that the Floppy Whoppy Flying Circus Corporation, me, and Champion, the clothing line, are working together. Now, I need to say this isn't a uh, official partnership, but what this means is that I'm able to put my artwork on high quality clothing uh, that is the champion clothing line unfortunately i'm not cool enough for an official official partnership but heck you know if we keep going one day you're going to see floppy wop t-shirts in every store you go into at the front with a big sign with my face pretty much new t-shirt designs are coming out on the channel they're finally here sorry about the delay but i need your help i have two designs and I could only pick one. And so my philosophy or my my take into these designs, here's the first one, is simpler. A little bit less in your face, but still really nice and elegant. Elegant. Uh, so the first one's more cartoony, less serious, and softer on the eyes. Or it's the image is softer compared to the second one. Okay, so that's the cartoon one. The other one, the realistic one, um, has a little bit more detail and is more realistic. We're going to be changing the date on the bottom propeller. Just a placeholder at the moment. So yes, let me know which one you guys like the most. And no ETA yet on when these are going to be fully released. We're hoping the next two weeks. So I'll uh, definitely make an announcement for that. So yeah, cool. Thanks for the ears, guys. JU87 G2. This is a phenomenal ground striker when you have ammunition. That's the only downside. Okay, I mean, well, there's others, right? Okay, it's slow. It's easy to kill. It's easy to kill. It's easy to kill. And it's slow. So anti-air will be all over you. Airplanes will be all over you. Your best bet is to take this thing out as early as, as possible. Go through your ammunition and get out before the counters start coming. Only 24 rounds of ammunition, so 12 shots. However, the easiest ground strike guns to aim. High velocity, 37 millimeters with HVAP. That right here, 142 millimeters of pen. So with how we engage, let's just say the sweet spot is 500 meters away from the target, we're going to be able to penetrate pretty much anything we look at. However, a small 37 millimeter HVAP doesn't kill all the crew you really truly want. It's um it's fun, but you got to get a little lucky and set up properly. All right, fellas, here we go. Attack the D point, or is that B point? Nope, does doesn't count. Doesn't count. Someone give him the D point. Do I gotta do that? No, 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 no. D. No, no. These guys got it all wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hunt, hunt to win. Yo. Yes. Okay. This guy's just messing with me right now. Okay. Oh, sh started it. There he goes. There he goes. He wants to know if anyone wants to chime in. I gotta be honest. This the, the spam is really annoying, but I I I gotta give him one more. See, that that one's pretty. That. <laughs> oh god! Oh gosh! Guy. Got everyone in on this. Yes! Okay, let's see who we can kill here. Ooh, let's check front real quick. Looks kind of good. Um, Wowzer. Hey, that's a big guy. Oh, someone might have got him. Ooh, bounce. Come on, I, I can't see him. Oh, I see him. Smack! Ooh, oh, wait, 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 never mind. Was that a 34? I don't think so. I mean, a uh, 57 millimeter. We gotta, ooh, dude, that, dude, his gun can penetrate me. 
Whoop! Oh, there goes a bat. I can't see him. He's firing too quick. I tell you, man, that 45 millimeters got some punch. Oh, look, we got it. <laughs> Dude, that 50 millimeter kicks up so much. Ooh, a stewer? Don't really want to spawn kill. Are there any up here we can just tag real quick? Oh. That, that's a BTR. See, that's something I do want to kill before I get into my JU-87. Okay, what I'll do is that we'll go to uh, Charlie and get some more spawn points. Ooh, almost got killed right there. Galadin! Uh, that, that should have gone through. He has a, he, he is at a weird angle, isn't he? Missed him. Yeah, I think it bounced because that weird angle it was at. 45 millimeters of god tier armor. I'm going to overextend for the BTR. Nothing. Oh, come on, play. Was that him? Yes. Yes, okay. Feel Feels much better now. <laughs> that thing at low BR is a death sentence. We've got multiple planes... IL-2, I might, I don't know, I might just go air. IL-2's right below me somewhere, I can hear him. Don't know where that guy's going, he's just enjoying his little plane, that's awesome. There's the IL-2. Another BTR. We're gonna switch, gosh, those 14.5s are scary. Our, our team's kicking butt, though. We're going to probably go to Bravo, get away from that BTR. Okay, enemy. This is an SAV. This is that uh, um, Swedish thing. <laughs> no, no, no. A lot of anti here. Not beneficial. Okay, we're going to switch sides again. No, that's a T-26. Or it could be that Italian thing. Oh, got him critical. Oh, gosh. Yeah, War Thunder, you go! <laughs> shot him in the core. Is he still alive? He shot me with a 45. I'm still alive. Yeah! <laughs> we got an SAV. We got four shots left. Come on, little Stuker. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a tree. Okay, we got two shots left. Water's empty. No, wa we still have water. We don't have any oil. I got the T-26, though. He's definitely dead here if I can't get a shot on him in, like, three seconds. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> That potential somebody over here. Ooh, we got anti-air? No, a BT something. Oh, nice. Okay, my plane should definitely definitely be in the ground right now. Okay, engine is starting to give way. Emergency landing time. No sink. Don't sink. Be careful for these hedges that just pop out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. There we go, nice. Little bounce here. Beep. Watch out for that ledge. All right, put it down. No. 
Imagine landing this and getting a kill with 37 millimeters. All right, engine off so I'm not detected. That wasn't bad. I didn't think we would be able to get a two streak going on. What the hell was that? Sorry, I can't burn up. I'm on the ground. Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay. I gotta say, this might sound weird, but if you were a Stuka pilot early war, you probably felt invin invincible. Absolutely. At least in my opinion. It must have been so weird. We got, um, oof, we got some Americans here. Americans are a little tough because they all bring out M13s and M16s. No M15s, though, however. And then the Shermans are a little spacious. We're going to go on a dive here. Smoke's up, though. Well done, Sherman. We got one right there. He's going to be hard to spot. He's put... I don't know. Is that... I, I don't know. And get off there. The majority of the 50 cals are from the Shermans. Oh, good gosh. Buy me a pineapple and cracker check. I don't. Oh. I don't know, man. They got... No, don't... Don't worry about me, dude. That's... Oh, my gosh. What are you? That's right, Hans. There you go. Perfect. Oil's okay. Our plane is good to go, but some controllability issues. But engine, water, and oil, oil is good. Wow. I gotta say, the, the, the Stuka's back gunner really doesn't come in clutch like that. Usually he lets you down. I mean, Hans usually lets you down. But that wasn't half bad. I should have definitely been dead. Let's get a little bit more altitude here. Okay, not much time's left. We might make one final uh, push. He doesn't see me, though. Buy me an apple and cracker smacks. I don't care if I'll ever go back to that room. <laughs> I kind of like this thing. Do do for the home team. There goes the M15. I don't know why this song is stuck in my head. Somebody please. <laughs> All right. Water's getting a little hot now. Some good hits on him. Ah, oh, one guy is still alive. We won't be able to get three kills, unfortunately. Okay, out nice and early. I'm hoping that we can get these rounds off accurately and go back to base and land. And, and yeah, I know there's a lot to ask from a JU-87 getting back to base and go, going back in the action, but this is, this is a small map. Uh, let's go to the left a little bit here and now back around. Too low on the shots. Almost nicked ammo right there. Holy shiza. Oh, I hit you square. 
Okay, 16 rounds left. This was a little difficult because to engage, could go out, could go after that lead. To engage properly, we have to go away from the spawn and away from the spawn. The way the streets are set up means that they won't be horizontal to us. Let's see what we can do here. Where's the chaffy? Good. And potential. No, nope, we won't risk it. Risk it. Nice. Got a got a Cromwell going quick on the main road. Good spot. That's a great hit. Nah. Six rounds left. Had an enemy aircraft over. Maybe that was anti-air that was shooting me. It's weird flying this low over the battlefield. It really is. KV1 doesn't realize that there's someone's behind him. That is a chaffy of some sort. Come on, don't hang there. It's Chaffee. Good hit. Beautiful. Two rounds left. And this, this is efficient. Cromwell is fully smoked up. Uh-oh. That's going to be enemy plane. Nice maneuver, Hurricane. That was sweet. Okay, he's off me. Let's use that. Let's kick that rudder. Ah, unfortunate. No help from anti-air. Drops out. Can I make it? We got a main road here. If we can land on this road. Awesome help, whoever that was. You might have to drive this one in. We're so close to. Let's see what it looks like over this hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to drive this one in. Okay, check the score. Man, okay. We got kind of cleaned up right there. I don't know. Surprisingly survivable. Usually when I see a Stuka, it's dead. I don't know. There goes Charlie and Alpha. 
I kind of did what I wanted to do. Got back to base. We're going to be able to take off before the game's over. Really? That's so annoying. I'm right here. Imagine that! Hey, yeah, sorry, can't help you. Can't can't help you. Friendly military plane can't can't help you. Too far away. Don't get paid enough. And then sometimes you land completely way off of base. It's like, yo, yeah, yeah, we got you. <laughs> this game is like eating a ham sandwich without any bread. Doesn't make any sense. At the same time, I do eat cold cold cuts, but. By them by themselves and they're pretty good I guess that's, I guess that's a metaphor for what war thunder is really wish there's these buildings could like fall down like battlefield Wow there's very little left to Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, just, just be, just be aware. Today was really lucky. The Ju87, in my experience, gets gets killed extremely easy. However, well, I mean, it can't defend itself really. I mean, but today it was, it was kind of something else. However, these 37 millimeters, I feel like, have been improved. Maybe the targets we were just facing were, like, like an M24. Not much room in it. Even though you only have 24 rounds, you could potentially get three kills with these puppies. A great platform, especially at 2.7. Fellas, have a good day. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.